All right, so we're going to look at uh, MMAT, Metal Materials. It's uh, January 30th. And yesterday, I posted a video like, earlier this week or whatever about this bearish triangle. You see it coming down, and uh, it broke through. It tested it and went through and bounced back up. Um, now, this thing could... Tomorrow, it's going to be tomorrow. I'll bet it's going to be tomorrow. That either this thing comes down here and, and, and uh, breaks down or it's going to pop out. So either way, that's what I'd be looking for. We can go out, zoom out to the one year. Or even the three year. You can see we've got support at this level over here. So you got a lot of support there. So hopefully you can, you know, you guys can you know, get out of this downward drilling. This thing just keeps going down lower and lower, but you are oversold on the three year You're right there. Last time it tapped, you see, it doesn't even go uh, turn green like it does. You know, usually when it hits this line, it's gonna bounce up. So very well could be that tomorrow this thing comes down and finds a bunch of buyers and then shoots out and goes bullish that's that's what i see i'm trying to be say both i'm not trying to be biased or whatever i'm just trying to say what could happen and what you know in both ways probably going to come down here it might go down and a bunch of bull bears start buying puts from the market maker and then they shoot this thing up let's take a look at the options chain because so I like to look at the options chain to figure out where this might end up so we're going to take a look now next uh, expiration which is in 19 days we have uh, a lot of two dollar puts see the open interest over here you got 1800 two dollar puts and you got one thousand one dollar puts i don't know if people are familiar with this but if you're not familiar with it puts aren't you know people hear the word put and they think oh my god that's that's not that's bearish that's not bullish well somebody has to write these puts okay either the market maker is going to write them if nobody else is selling them the market maker is going to write them to the bear to the bears and the shorts or you know a bull is going to write these contracts so you can see here, you got $1,800 $2 puts expiring in 19 days. And you come over here to the left side under the calls, and you see you've got 5,000 5, calls. So I think, you know, unless something changes, you're probably going to end up closing under $2. I don't think you're going to go under a dollar, but, you know, anything's possible. Uh, I mean, actually, you see, you got 1400 It's about even on the $1 side. So, I mean, you know, could be could, anything could happen because, you know, the market maker is not going to want to pay all these calls out. That's what I believe. I mean, everybody, you know, you believe what you want to believe. That's what the way I look at it. The market maker is not going to want to pay. See all these calls? Look at all these calls. 5000 4000 almost 3000 1200 And then look how many puts. Nobody's writing puts. Nobody's writing puts, so that's uh, you know, they're gonna just gonna keep pushing it down because it's easy money. They're selling selling calls and just pushing the stock down further and further. Now we'll go out a little bit further and take a look. Now I was looking at I was looking here, look out in April. Look how many uh, so you got 1,695 two dollar puts. You still got a lot of calls over here though, but it's almost even. It's almost. Still a little bit heavy on the call side and then uh when you go out really far out you know next year i'm just trying to i use this to try to figure out where is this price going to be you know I try to use this to figure out you know where would it be in the next couple of months it's not 100 percent you know it's probably not even 50 percent accurate but at least gives me an it gives me an idea where i can i can visualize in my mind where this might go so i can trade it accordingly if i see that 
you know, I see all this right here, these 5,000 calls. If I'm going to enter this stock, I'm going to sell a $2 call because I'm pretty sure it's going to close under $2. You know, I mean, if I have a $10 average, then it's probably not worth selling the $2 call. But if I can get in at $1.49, sell a $2 call and collect 60, you know, six cents credit, then I'll do that. And, uh, or maybe I'll even, uh, depending on my average, maybe I'll sell a $1, you know, out here in March. And I can collect some money, make sure I get out in cash or kill the call buyer completely. But anyway, so um, it's, it's looking like uh, it's possible this thing could shoot over $2 or it's going to be under $2 just based on the, the amount of open interest on these on this on these two dollar calls and the two dollar puts uh, you can see the implied volatility is real high which is a good thing for put sellers and call seller any premium sellers day to gang you know take advantage of that try to collect these tasty premiums i mean the stock price is so beaten down that it's almost not even worth uh you know it's not even really worth selling premium on it which kind of sucks but uh you know if it if, uh, if next week the stock is to rocket up and go above two and the implied volatility goes even higher, then it might get these premiums jacked up and, you know, attract some, some more call sellers and uh, put sellers. So anyways, we'll go back to the chart. So that's what I'm thinking for next week. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking that you know probably going to come break down hopefully find some buyers and then shoot up oh let's look at the one year chart that's what i want to show you you see down here the one year chart look how oversold this thing is that's why i'm thinking it might bounce out okay look how down i mean it's got it's probably going to day cap bounce that's what that's what i think is going to it's going to come down okay it's going to shoot down tomorrow probably come down here I, i'm not saying it's going to come to a dollar 30 but who knows it's going to come down here. It's going to find some type of buyers. The bears are going to step in and buy a whole bunch of puts because they're going to be like, ah, you're going to zero. And then this thing's going to rock it out. I don't know where it's going to go. It could go up 20, 30, 40 cents. I don't know. But we'll see. But you can see on this chart how bad, how, how oversold this thing is. So that's the only thing bullish I see is this thing, the RSI is bottomed all the way out. So I'm thinking, and you can see this made a hammer. So she's the uh, there is buyers coming in buying this up every dip it comes down it's getting bought up so i'm thinking as a, i think down here you might come down and test like the 130 area and then just shoot out of there we'll see what happens so anyways good luck and uh let me know how it goes for you thanks for watching